day. Hello dolls, hello lovelies. Today's video is going to be strictly about gastroparesis. Um, I wanted my channel to be, fo the focus to be on like my health, um, also, you know, beauty, because that's me. Everybody know I like makeup, I like nails and hair and everything. So that's why my channel is called Healing Beauty, Love, and Happiness. I love and happiness. So today's um, video is going to be about gastroparesis. I get asked this question, and I, I used to get asked this question on the daily when I started gaining weight. How are you able to maintain weight with a digestive, digestive issue, digestion issue? Well, okay, so when I was diagnosed with gastroparesis a few months later while I was hospitalized, they also found out that when I was hospitalized, that also had a food allergy. So I was put on steroids, also one for this food allergy, two because I was starting to get symptoms of COPD and asthma due to the, you know, the regurgitation and the the at real bad acid reflex and the the vomiting and all that so it was causing breathing issues and steroids also helped with that well if you know anything about steroids which yeah i don't care what kind of steroids they are they make you gain weight and for some reason, they make you maintain weight. It's like you, it's hard to get rid of that weight, even when you're weaned off of those steroids. So that's one of the ways that I'm able to maintain weight. I still, to this day, don't eat a lot. Um, I was having an episode the other day. I just, I kind of went the whole day with no, not eating, just pretty much drinking. I just wasn't feeling my best. Um, yeah, so that is one of the ways I'm able to maintain weight. Now, you also got to understand for all the new, um, diagnosed gastroparesis individuals, um, that everybody's gastroparesis, um, everybody handles gastroparesis, body handles gastroparesis different. Some people are more severe. Some people are have it slightly. Some people have gastroparesis because of something that they're doing. So whether it's taking too much medication or something like that, as soon as they're they're off of that medication or they change that um, the routine or the habit that they have, they no longer have gastroparesis. The symptoms go away. It's kind of like a lot of times with um, diabetes with some people. When you lose the weight and you start eating healthy again, your diabetes seems to disappear. Um, some people have gastroparesis that's caused, that is brought on by diabetes. And I've met quite a few of those individuals. Um, and some people have temporary diabetes, or not diabetes, excuse me, uh, gastroparesis, whether it was like a stomach flu that lingered too long that weakened their stomach line, which caused them for to have gastroparesis maybe for a couple of years, which a, a doctor told me one time, it, Ten, with some people, it it um, lingers around for three years. Some people's gastroparesis is so fear, so severe that they're on feeding tubes. Some people's gastroparesis is they just get nauseous, and they don't get nauseous every day. They just get nauseous with certain foods that they eat. Some people's gastroparesis, like mine, is I suffer from nausea, really, really, really bad acid reflux, heartburn. Um, and it causes also for me to have IBS, which that affects my intestines, which affects my bowel movements. Sometimes I can be severely constipated. Sometimes I can have the worst diarrhea where I cannot leave my house. And I've had that episode a couple of times, even coming back from a vacation. It was awful. Um, with me, my gastroparesis kind of goes up and down, um, Sometimes it will be like at an all time worse. My flare up is I need to go to the hospital. My potassium is low. My blood pressure is low. My oxygen is low. 
there's nothing I can do for myself at home. I've got to get to a hospital. And sometimes my gastroparesis is I'm just severely nauseous. And sometimes my gastroparesis just don't bother me. Like I can kind of dig around in different foods and it won't bother me. And that's the part that makes me really, really nervous because I don't know what's going to happen the next minute, the next hour, the next year. What really scares me about having gastroparesis and it causes for me to have real, real bad anxiety. Um, when I notice that my appetite is going away, like I hadn't had appetite for a few days, that makes me really nervous because, you know, when I'm getting ready to have a bad episode, um, is typically my body lets me know because I don't have no appetite. Like no matter what, you could put all my favorite foods in front of me and I just want to throw up at the smell of them. I have no appetite. So... You know, a lot of people that have to also understand that everybody's gastroparesis affects them differently. Um, babies, there's babies with gastroparesis, um, elderly people with gastroparesis. Um, and a lot of people have also lost their lives from it because it is a weakening of the stomach line. And literally to sum it up, your body is starving itself to death. That's basically to sum it up. Um, it affects, it, it really do, it affects your life. It affects a lot of things that you do in life. Um, you know, a lot of times for years, I couldn't plan to do nothing because, you know, I would get invited to go here and there and I would just, Tell, I would tell a lot of lies. I would say, oh, well, you know, someone would invite me to go somewhere. Like, girl, we're going to do this, this, and this, and this, and this, girl. And the lie would be that I would have to tell is, um, yeah, girl, I got to get, get up and go to work in the morning. Knowing that was a pure, bold-faced lie. But it's, my gastroparesis would be acting up and I would be nervous. Like, oh my goodness, what if my stomach gets upset? I had even stopped going to the mall, y'all. I had stopped doing a lot of things. I stopped pretty much going anywhere besides to work. Um, I was denied disability three times. Um, so I had to work. And this is before your jail because I have been suffering on and off from slight gastroparesis symptoms since 2007 but it didn't come four fourth like right smack dead in my face till 2014 and it got unbearable in 2017 so i still had to work i don't i didn't have any help i don't have rich parents you know i still had to work and i exhaust everything i had in my savings so you know, this video is about how I'm able to maintain life or maintain weight and how it affects my life. Um, this is going to be part one because I'm going to tell you guys uh, more in part two. Um, but it affects you. Any chronic illness will affect you. Um, you know, I get sometimes, how are you able to smile? How are you able to go day to day life? You seem happy. Um, that's what you see. But when I come home and I'm laying on my pillow, I cry. I, 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 I cry. I mean, who wouldn't, you know, if you had an illness that affects pretty much everything you do in life. So I want to tell all my gastroparesis warriors to hang in there. There will be a cure. I was just told by one of my friends in my old support group that they are marching in D.C. And for on the behalf of gastroparesis to get government funding to do more research on it because it's not a lot of research and we don't have any real treatment for it. Like they'll give you, you know, nausea medicine. They um, have some liquid stuff that I've showed you guys in my uh, pack with me on my way to Miami video that's supposed to trigger your brain to let your stomach know to stop it, but it causes other illnesses that have no cure that you can't get rid of. It causes illnesses with your brain, like Parkinson's. So 
you know, I just have, what wakes me up every morning is God, and I have faith that there will be a cure. It may not be in my lifetime, uh, but it will be a cure. And in my lifetime, I'm hoping that it at least will be some better treatment. Um, it affected me. It affects me every day because I get anxiety. I start getting nervous. Like, you know, me and your jealous can ready to go on another vacation. Y'all know how he is. He likes to go, 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 go. And he likes, you know, he likes to travel. We get ready to go on another vacation. And when it gets close to the vacation, I start to get really, really bad anxiety. I get really, really nervous thinking that, oh my gosh, if this, this, this happened, we're not going to be able to go. We didn't waste all this money. So it affects you. It affects you. Um, on top of that, I have gotten there other illnesses um, from gastroparesis. And one of the illnesses, I'm starting to suffer from migraines. I don't know if it's the side effects from my medication. They try to say it's these allergies because of the state that I live in, a lot of pollen and stuff. But... I think it also has a lot to do with the medication that I take because on one of the medications, I looked on the back of the bottle and it says side effect headaches. So I just want to let all my gastroparesis warriors know that one day there would be a cure, just like I know one day there would be a cure for cancer. And to hang in there and try to live day-to-day -day life to the best of your ability. Whether it's, I know when I was at my all-time low and I had a really bad flare-up, I had basically lost the use of my legs due to no nutrition in my body. Like, no, I just was weak. No, you know. Um, and even then, I was able to get on my phone and, you know, listen to my Bible um, talk to different prayer groups, um, you know, color paint. I know sometimes the paint can be so extent, so, so bad that you don't want to do any of that. But when you are feeling okay, because some, some days it lets up and it lets you have a breather, you know, um, whatever it is that you like that you care about that you you want to try to accomplish i try i tried to do it um i look up makeup videos um i would just watch different things on my phone i was more interested in what you know reading the bible and listening to the bible and when i'm having a bad day and a flare-up maybe even because a couple of weeks ago i had a whole bad week with my stomach in my head um I sit and I like to talk to your jail. I like to just talk to him all night with my heating pad on and talk. I like to watch soothing, soothing documentaries, um, light a candle, um, you know, and just be comfortable in my bed. Um, I wasn't able to really leave the house those days because I just felt awful. So, and when I felt a little better, you know, I did a facial on my skin, deep conditioner on my hair, you know, just different things, y'all. And I'm just kind of just going off the, off the grid. We didn't got on a whole nother subject, but yeah, I just want to answer some questions and it was a qu some questions that's been asked to me personally. Um, uh, and I just thought I'd make a YouTube video for anybody else that wanted, you know, that wanted to know, um, um, even if you have to be, I just want to say this, even if you have to be wheelchair, get outside and take a breather. Um, I was on, a, I was with a walker and sometimes I would want to just go outside and just smell the earth and you know, whatever, even when I was on my, with my walker. Now I will insert some pictures because, um, I wanted to, I, I said this in my video when I first started YouTube, it was like my second video. If I knew how to edit and insert pictures, I would. So I'm going to try to insert pictures like right here of weight gain and, with, uh, and weight loss and when I was tiny and couldn't eat and, you know, um, how steroids have caused me to 
you know, gain a lot of weight and everything. So I'll try to, I'm pointing like <laughs> the pictures is up here now, but I will insert those pictures. And like I said, this is part one. We're going to go all the way to probably part a million. Okay. So this is just a starter. This is just answering a question. And then I'm just talking about some random stuff. But, yeah, y'all, I got my shirt on. Yes, I know I got this shirt on again. So what? This is my go-to shirt. I, you know, I like to wear shirts like this when I got a lot to do. Today was my cleaning day. Go get us some dinner. Make a little change day, y'all. Just get a little money. So, anyways, y'all. Oh, my hair be irritating, y'all. But I just be making, you know, making light. But you guys stay encouraged whether you have gastroparesis or not. Stay encouraged because life is hard as it is if, you know, with even out having an illness, you know. It's getting to the point where it's getting too expensive to even live, y'all. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? I mean, I was talking to a friend of mine about that today. What are we gonna do? Like, everything is going up. Like, do we go back to living like, you know, people in the Bible days? Like, Cut the TV off. Kept the electricity off. I mean, good gracious. Light a candle. Y'all, what we gonna do, y'all? But, um, we'll talk about that in some other video. Because I want you guys to stay tuned. I'm gonna make a video about, um, covering acne. Full face of covering acne. We're just using powder. Just using powder. No foundation. Um, also, I got a few things I wanna show you guys that I've gotten in that you might be interested in and um yeah how julia's place julia's place yes i said it i said it i said it yeah they own something they own something y'all should see the color foundation they sent me talking about it was my fault i pushed the button but yeah we're gonna talk about that video in talk about that in another video but i'm gonna do a good get ready with me video using a full face of powder so, like I said, stay tuned. I got so much stuff, but y'all, it's been a really, really, really busy week for me. So, I just did not want the camera in my face. But y'all, it's dark outside. I'm hungry. Your Jill said one of my favorite movies is on. So, uh, peace. And always, always stay in courage. And love yourself.